Hi, my name is Crystal and I'm a naturalist here at Cones Pond Nature Center and today we'll be doing uh, some behind the scenes animal care for all of our animals here at the Nature Center. For feeding aquatic turtles, they have to stay in the water in order to eat so they need the water to swallow. Um, so what we do is we actually take them out of their tanks here and put them in another separate container. Um, this helps to prevent aggression when you're trying to get them in and out of the tank, but it'll also help keep the filters a little bit more cleaner. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna grab some water and I'll check with the temperature gun that we have here. This checks for Celsius and Fahrenheit. The temperature that we're looking for is around 75 degrees, 75 to 80 degrees. So we're right at 80 degrees, which is perfect for them. You don't want it too hot because um, again, they're um, cold blooded animals. So sudden changes in temperature will really shock their system. Um, and their water is generally kept around 75 to 80 degrees in their tank. So the next thing we'll do is we'll just add our food. So what we have today is a mixture of fresh fruits and vegetables. Um, we have cherries, blueberries, and some spinach. And then they also get a fortified aquatic turtle pellet um, that has all the nutrients and vitamins that they would normally get out in the wild, as well as the protein that they would normally get from eating things like fish and insects. So we're gonna actually take our turtles out now. Um, so when you're grabbing an aquatic turtle, you always wanna grab from the back or behind the tail. Um, and that's just partially so that um, their legs don't scratch you or um, claw at you. And then what you can do is actually put your hand underneath the front to help um, just give them a little bit more security on the front end. And so we'll bring them over here to his food container. He'll hop on in. So we're gonna grab our Eastern Musk Turtle now. He's a little bit smaller, but I'm still gonna follow the same rules just because he actually has a very long neck. Um, so he can uh, go right around about to the middle of his shell and actually grab onto me with his mouth. And then this is our last uh, aquatic turtle that we have down in our program room. This is another red belly. He's a little bit smaller than the other guy. So we're gonna be feeding our box turtles now. They get a pretty similar diet. Um, they'll get some vegetables and some fruits. Um, the only difference is they have a different type of pellet, which is more fortified for land-dwelling turtles. Um, these guys are a little bit more picky about eating, so what we do is actually crush it up into a powder and stuff it into a fruit because they love their fruit. Um, I also will give them some extra protein in the form of mealworms just as a, an extra treat. I usually hide that underneath some vegetable to help entice them to eat their vegetable. It doesn't always work, but I'd at least try. So we feed on these stones um, because in the wild they have uh, all different types of substrates and um, surfaces that they can actually rub their beak or their mouth part on um, to kind of wear it down over time. In captivity, they don't really have that much, as much of a chance. So um, we feed them on these rocks to help wear those beaks down so that we don't have to cause any kind of stress by doing it ourselves.
So all these animals that we have down here in the classroom are not on display. Um, some people would probably have noticed that before if they've ever visited the nature center. And that's solely because these are program animals, which means that they come out to um, go to school programs or go to private events or um, any kind of event where we do um, you know, animal programming. We don't want to stress them out too much, so that's why we don't have them on display and as well as being in the public light when being handled in front of a program. Um, all these animals are non-releasable for one reason or another, um, but they all are native to the state of Delaware. Um, we feed them generally every other day. It's kind of changed a little bit with the virus going on, um, but we are doing it every other day as of right now, so they are getting enough food um, to sustain themselves and they are getting cared for appropriately.